Hello, guys. Good morning. How's your weekend? I hope you had a fantastic weekend as we did. Um, in this video, what we're, going, what we're going to be breaking down are the major pairs on the coming week, obviously. Um, some indices, commodity, maybe gold. And um, we'll see how it goes. Starting off with the fundamentals of the week. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Laurent, but you can call me Black. Without further ado, please be sure to subscribe, like this video if it will be of help to you. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever we, we release future content. So this week's fundamentals, on Monday today we have the pound, looks like it's going to be the one dominating, right? We have the composite PMI, manufacturing PMI and service PMI. Obviously all of them strong events. And then later on, we'll be having the US existing home sales, right? Now, these are the fundamentals today. Tomorrow, we have new home sales for the US. Um, on Wednesday, we'll be having core durable goods orders and crude oil inventories, all for the US. Thursday, we'll be having the ECB publishers announcement, um, publishers account monetary policy meeting, right? And then we have the GDP for the US probably um, are not the strongest, but the retail sales and the GDP for the OZ, these will be the two strong fundamentals of the week for the US and the OZ, retail sales, all of them on Thursday. And then on Friday, we'll be having the Fed Chair Powell speaks, right? It's a speech for the US. Now, these are the fundamentals of the week, obviously not so strong, but the strongest will be on Thursday meaning the GDP for the US and the retail sales for the OZ. Now let's get into the technicals. Now here's the Euro USD, obviously looking down from uh, almost an ending diagonal pattern or falling wedge. From the other direction, we can obviously see that it has a zero there, A, right, B, C, B, I'll be looking for an E around here. And then after that, what we'll be expecting is for prices to actually keep on falling down all the way down here to this support area, right? So that's what I expect to see in the Euro USD today. Um, let's try putting on some Fibonacci and see if it will actually align with it. Um, it will be aligning with the 0 0.5, not the 0 0.618. So the 0 0.5 around there, that's why we'll be looking for prices to actually keep on falling, obviously, just like the 0 0.5 here. So um, that's the Euro USD. Let's check out another pair. Um, let's look at the US dollar in general, like what's really going on here, right? Because this will actually give us the main bias of what's really popping and what's really going to be happening in the major US currencies, right? So um, from afar, we can actually see that the prices did move. Here was zero one and then giving us a two here and then this will be three so obviously we'll be looking for a four at around the 0 0.38 and then to give us a five now knowing the um elliott wave pattern counts right so in such a scenario the distance of wave one should be the same as the distance um of wave five right so obviously once prices bounce off here, we'll be looking for prices to push all the way up here to this um, major resistance zone. So um, that's what I expect to see in the US dollar in general. So you can actually align all of your US trades with this scenario. Right now, they'll be a little bit bearish, but then you should be expecting to see prices keep on falling to hit us with the five all the way up there. So that's what I expect to see in this US trading market this week, right? Obviously. So um, looking back, USD JPY, um, we did take this trade last week um, all the way up here, moving around 60 pips, and then it came out to stop us out at break even. Oh, well, it happens, right? So right now, I'm still bullish biased, obviously, currently, because the US is actually still bullish. But right now, I'm not going to be buying any of this because obviously, as you can see, 
the US down there, um, the US as we just analyzed is now bearish. So the US, this USD JPY, I'll be expected to see some sort of retracement before actually prices keep on pushing higher. So that's what I'll be expecting. But in general, the USD JPY, I am still very, very bullish biased. Nice. So, okay. Now we have the, okay, you USD already analyzed this. USD chief, right now, as we just talked about it, the US dollar is bearish at the moment, but I'm still bullish biased in this pair. So I'll be expecting to see prices maybe break out of this pattern and, um, you know, keep on pushing higher, some sort of like that. Right now in the one hour, obviously you can see that prices are in this um, descending triangle pattern. So I'll be waiting for a breakout before I make any moves and, you know, see what happens. Okay, um, we have GBPUSD. GBPUSD, um, let's go down to the four hour. Last week we took this trade with the VIPs. As you can see, prices did hit take profit, although we did not swing with it. Um, we were actually stopped out at break even. <laughs> so we took this trade at around here and then it went about 50 pips in our profit. You know with what it is, we secured the bag, but then prices did retrace and stop us out at break even before falling all the way to hit our take profit. So it happens, it happens. You can't win them all. And if you ask me, yes, if I take another trade, I'm still going to go break even because that's the way we roll. That's the way we move. The first, oblig ob the first priority for you as a trader is to protect your investment. So whatever you do, always, always go break even whenever you can if the trade has already moved in the direction. So um, I'll obviously, I'm obviously still bearish bust in this pair, but based off the US analysis. So right now, as you can see, it's bullish because the US dollar is bearish. So I'll be expecting to see prices push until somewhere around here in this resistance and look for bearish momentum or bearish confirmation for me to take a shot and keep on falling with it. So that's my bias on the US dollar. Um, let's check out the, U, 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 the gold. So last week, we did place a pending order on this gold here. Obviously, after this market broke below this, the market broke below this market structure here, right? So this was a resistance and then prices made it a support. Once prices broke below it here, like this, I told the guys in the VIP after prices closing here to keep a bear, a sell stop below this candlestick here. If prices do reach here, we'll be triggered and we'll fall with it. Um, prices have been consolidating the rest of the week. They ne never really touched that sell stop. So we didn't trigger this order. But in general, in gold, I'm bearish biased because the US dollar is still bullish. But right now, I haven't been in this trade yet. So, um, but in general, I'm still bearish biased, obviously. Um, let's look at US 30. US 30. Now these indices, let's look at them from a daily perspective. From our daily perspective, obviously, as you can see here, we have this, Prices did bounce off this support level on Friday, on Thursday, closing with the doji indicating the lack of bearish momentum. And on Friday, closing with the bullish engulfing. And right now, prices are still pushing higher, right? So this is a good reversal candlestick, good reversal candlestick pattern for us to confirm that prices are now bullish and they'll keep on being that way. So I'll be expecting to see prices keep on pushing higher in this index, right? US 30. Um, we do have um nas 100 nas 100 prices have bounced off here bounced off this support level obviously so um they're still in this channel i can say if we look at the four hour we can see that prices are in this sort of channel here but i'm bear bullish bust in this pair so if prices break above here i'll obviously take it all the way up there right s p 500 Prices have broken and retested this support area. So obviously what comes next is more bullish pressure, more bullish bias, more bullish buys. So um, that's my view on this week's pairs, guys. Um, I hope this video has been of help to you. If so, give us a quick like, 
don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever we release future content. Until next time, guys, this was Black. Have a great trading week. Peace and love.